Knock at the Cabin is a thrilling tale of mystery and suspense. The movie follows a family who embark on a weekend getaway to a remote cabin, only to find themselves terrorized by a mysterious knock at the door. As they try to unravel the source of the mysterious knocking, they find themselves caught in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with a sinister force that threatens to tear them apart. The much-anticipated film, which is based on the 2018 novel The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul G. Tremblay, will offer plenty of surprises. With a gripping storyline and edge-of-your-seat suspense, Knock at the Cabin is a must-watch for fans of horror and suspense movies. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and prepare for a wild ride as we explain the ending of Knock at the Cabin. Within the book, Andrew murders Adrienne after breaking out of the cabin and getting his revolver from the car. When, however, accidentally is shot and murdered while battling Leonard for the gun. Leonard, who is devastated by the death of the young girl, lets himself be restrained and then has the audacity to claim that Wen's death didn't stop the end of the world since she wasn't a willing sacrifice. Sabrina discusses how she and the other intruders met online, the specifics of their strategy, and how they were resolved to carry out the mission even when they wanted to reject it. But after Wen's death, she decides she no longer wants to carry out the strategy and murders Leonard. Therefore, one of Eric or Andrew must die. Eric starts to question if the end of the world is actually here, but Andrew argues that everything is just a coincidence and that the intruders were anticipating pre-scheduled news programming. Eric and Andrew follow Sabrina into the jungle carrying Wen's body when she offers to bring them to Redmond's car. Before killing herself, she gets the gun and car keys and tells Eric that there is still time to stop the end of the world. Eric then muses of killing himself, but Andrew counters that even if the end of the world is imminent, he will not submit to a deity who does not regard Wen's passing as sufficient. In the end, neither Eric nor Andrew pass away since the couple decides they don't want to pass away apart. They make their way to Redmond's car and decide to stick together no matter what, even the so-called apocalypse. Whether or not the apocalypse is real is left unanswered at the book's conclusion. Before the movie's theatrical debut, writer-director M. Night Shyamalan spoke in an interview and revealed that the movie's ending differs significantly from the original. He said, I knew right away that the plot couldn't proceed the way it was written when I was given the opportunity to write this book. I simply can't see it going that way. I have feelings about it. They therefore asked me if I would be interested when they returned the book to them. I said, oh sure, and then declared that I would be writing a different version of the book because I had been so moved by the scenario. I won't prefer to the film as the same. Admirers of the book may do so because this is a different artist's interpretation. And Knight continued. During a phone call, M. Knight learned that the author had also thought about the ending he had in mind. I did call Paul and I did tell him what I was going to do, and then he was like, I was going to do that first, and then I decided to do this other version, and I was like, great, great, so at least you thought similarly too, the director said.